Hey everybody, Darren here from the Music Vault. Um, I'm coming at you from my kitchen. Just finished work, I gotta go pick my daughters up from school. I got a package yesterday. I had to open it, sorry. It's not gonna be an on-camera reveal. However, I'm gonna show you all the contents now. Um, like I said, I, uh, I've been working my butt off we're going to Florida in next Saturday, as a matter of fact. So I've already scoped out all the record shops down there. I've already scoped out all the things that I kind of want to get. Got a couple of uh, things in mind that I want to pick up in that. So um, yeah, so this video here is about my package that I got yesterday. And the package was from no life to metal scott waters great guy uh, i always i always love talking to the guy he's a great guy if you haven't got his channel subscribe which i'm that's probably kind of a dumb statement because everybody and their dog knows even maybe the cat knows who scott is um great guy like i said really generous as well um and i love trading with him because uh he sends me stuff that I just can't find around here or I'm not going to get around here or whatever. And I send him stuff. I hope that he enjoys. I send him a lot of Canadian content that um, he can't necessarily get down there. Um, but I can get it up here very quickly, very easily. Uh, so I've sent him a lot of Canadian stuff that I hope he listens to and I hope he likes it. I know some of the stuff he's commented and he says he likes, but... I mean, we're not, we're not all going to like everything that, you know, you come in contact with. Anyways, I am going to do this. This video is going to be relatively quick because I have to pick up my daughters in about 20, 25 minutes, 20 minutes. So um, this is the content of the package that Scott sent me. So I got a big old pile of stuff and I got some music. So first up is um cassette this is res live 20 years volume 2 and this is 20 years volume 1. it's really cool that uh he sent me both because now i don't have to hunt for anything um i have you know both copies like the set which is really cool and I'm really thankful for these because, I mean, it's the res band. Who doesn't like the res band, right? Um, so, yeah. So, that I've just started to build up my tape collection. And Scott has been sending me a lot of Christian stuff that I had, didn't even know was on tape or I hadn't seen in forever. Because a lot of the stuff, I mean... Uh, there used to be uh, a spot up here I used to go. My buddy actually used to own it. It was called The Singer and the Song. And uh, always could get tapes there. Always. And you could get the demos that they would open and you could listen to. And then, you, you know, they would sell them later on as demos. So, again, like I said, I'm just starting to build my tape collection up. I've got maybe, I don't know, around 400 now. So I just started to build it up again. Um, you know, so he sends me quite a bit of the Christian content, like I said, so it was pretty cool. So those are a nice collection to my growing, um, tape collection. The next couple are CDs, two, three of which I had never heard of. The first one is a band called Seventh Power. Never heard of it. Opened it up. And see, and the reason why I opened this package up yesterday because he had said that he was sending me a couple of CDs. So I was interested in what he was sending me. He wouldn't tell me. So it was like Christmas. So uh, I opened this one up. And this one I actually had to pick my daughter up last night. So I brought this one along with me. And this one's friggin' cool. It has Robert, St Robert Sweet. No, yeah, Robert Sweet, the drummer, on drums from Striper. And it has Bill, oh, I have a, 
a burnt CD in there. So, and it has Bill, what's his name? Bill Mention. Mention is that so? I I've heard of him. I think he's more like a, a that metal blues. I think Scott sent me before the metal blues or something like that. Um, really good guitar player. This this is a really really good um, heavy metal record. I really enjoy it. Uh, the bass player I'm not too familiar with. Uh, Rod uh, Reisner, never heard of him or anything, so I, I'm not familiar. I wasn't familiar with this at all, um, but he sent me this one, which he didn't tell me, uh, which is, it was really cool. I was really enjoying that one last night. Uh, another one, Conviction, never heard of it. Or them. I think I saw it on Rocks Records website once. I haven't heard it. Haven't heard anything by it. So this is this one's very new to me. Um, so I'll be checking this out in the near 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 future. So if you guys have heard it, either one of these bands, let me know. Tell me what you think. This one, I'm guessing it's called Stallmaster Volume Four, and I'm guessing it's it's obviously a um, what you call it? Oh, I'm drawing a blank here. Compilation record, and it has Jag Panzer, Anvil, uh, Rhapsody, Riot, Ed Guy, Phantom. Some bands I've never heard. Of. I've never heard of Holy Mother, Bullhorn. I've never heard of Capricorn. I've never heard of Crystal Eyes. Sounds kind of familiar. I'm wondering if it's more of a power metal kind of thing or I don't know. So I like compilation records and CDs because uh, you're always going to find a cool band on there that you haven't heard before that's going to be like your go-to track on that CD. The next two, um, he told me he was sending me these. So I was really stoked. I have these on vinyl. Um, so he sent me these. And they're the Crystal Box reissues. Now I have the original copy of this one, I believe, the bottom line. And that was out on Ocean Records, I believe. But I don't didn't have this one. And now these two are from Rocks Records. Great band if you like kind of skid rowish kind of stuff, I find. Um, I haven't really I haven't listened to them in a long time. Like this one. I was listening to it a little while ago, but I got so much stuff that I, you know. So I'm going to throw those in the car. I do deliveries at night as my second job. So I'm going to throw those in the car and uh, the Crystal Box. And I'm going to thrash out the Crystal Box for the next four hours tonight. The rest are, oh, so I got to start going, going flying through these. I'm going to fly through these. These ones, this pile here are stickers. Oh, an extra CD booklet, because the other one he said had a misprint. So I'm going to go through it to see if I can find what the misprint is. But that's just an extra booklet he sent me. So I have both sets of booklets. A couple of pamphlets, some sign stuff, and a couple of fridge magnets. So first up was this. I think it's an Ultimatum Metal Magazine. I've never seen this before. So I'm going to go through it. Oh, it opens up like that. This is cool. The Edge of Truth. Oh, it is. Yeah, that's right on. So it's got... Um, stuff like that. Um, you can get an order form. I wonder if we should order from it. What do you think, Scott? Is there anything on here? Uh, a write-up from Scott. So it's like a little... Actually, it's a fanzine, is it not? From the Ultimatum Camp. Which is... This is really cool. So I got some reading material one night. Yeah, this is really cool. I, I really like Ultimatum. They remind me of... Um, like a... a 
uh, an Exodus style metal church swapped with destruction, if that makes any sense. They kind of remind me of metal church because of the, the, the style of music. Exodus because of the style of vocals and destruction because I've heard hints of destruction in there. Some of the faster parts and even in Scott's vocals, I've heard kind of a, a Schmier, Zetro, Sousa kind of vocal style. So I really, I really dig Ultimatum and uh, my Ultimatum collection is growing quite considerably, which is really cool. And I mean, ultimately, I mean, you want to support a Christian metal scene because of the fact that it spreads a good word and it's not readily available like mainstream uh, metal and stuff like that. Anyways, um, a mass sticker, which is, that's a cool pick. I really like that pick. Uh, crystal box, cover of the album. This is cool. An ultimatum one. Oh, um, signed by Scott, which is really cool. That's cool. I like that. That's a No Life to Metal sticker. Um, this is a show that was a benefit show to support rockers helping rockers across the nation. And I'll just put up here, I'm not going to name all the bands, so I'm going to do that. And you can see, I think this band here is Randy's band, if I'm not mistaken. Once Dead is obviously Vengeance Rising with Scott Waters singing. Holy Soldier, Neon Cross, obviously. I have a CD by them, Loud Mass, Loud, Loudimus. I'm almost positive I have a, no, it's, sorry, it's Lightmare. They're a German uh, power metal band. I picked up at Cornerstone the one year. No Life to Metal Fridge Magnet, which is really cool. No uh, Rocks Records Fridge Magnet, which I really dig that logo with the record behind it. I think that's really cool. Oh, Ted Nugent sticker, which I'm debating whether I should put on the side of my record case or on my stereo cabinet. I think stereo cabinet. You guys tell me what you think. Stereo cabinet or record case. Um, that's the pack promo pack thing for uh, advertisement for all the new rock stuff coming out. Great album, great album, great album. Awesome album. Never heard it. And what was that one? Oh, that was the Vengeance Anthology. I have to get that. I don't even think I can get that anymore. Great album. Great Canadian band, too. They're from uh, two hours away from me in a little place called London, Ontario. Awesome record. Awesome, awesome record. I have it on CD and vinyl. Philadelphia Warlord. Biogenesis. I have yet to pick this one up, but it's on the list to get. This one's on the list to get, Love Life. I want to pick that up. That is um, Fear Not. I think that's before they become Fear Not, if I'm not mistaken. Red Sea, Blood, great record. This is a this is the new cover. The other the old cover is very different, or not so if I can remember correctly. It's, anyways, Scott designed that. Very talented man. The lead. I have one of their CDs downstairs in my, amongst my many, many CDs. Another Crystal Box sticker with a cover. I wanted, I think I said something to him that I wanted a copy of this. He sent a copy of this and he signed it. Once Dead uh, track listing when they did uh, Cornerstone, I believe. Cornerstone 2005, this was a set list. And Scott signed it. This is friggin' Trey Cool. You're the best. Uh, this I thought was really cool. Now, bear in mind, this package went from Scott, where Scott lives in New Mexico, 
all the way across the states into Canada, came all the way across Canada, and ended up at my neighbor's house, to which they put return to sender, because I don't live at that address. So it traveled all the way back, and it hit Chicago where it stayed. I think that they were listening to some of the CDs when I, to be honest. Then Scott finally got it back, and then he sent it back to me, and I finally got it. So this has been up from the States, back to the States, and back up to Canada, and no, I'm not sending it back to him. This is too cool. Anyways, Holy Saint. Scott showed me this, that he had this from somewhere. I said, oh, I'd like a copy of that, just because I thought it was really cool. Now, it's... It, it's because that's the reason why I'm saying it was because look at it's all it, it's been weathered because of the the trip that it took it went on vacation so what I'm going to do is I'm going to stick it I have a big heavy thick rush book about that thick and I'm going to jam it in the center and let it sit there for a little while and it's going to flatten out nicely and then I'm going to put it in my photo book that I have and the last picture which I'm going to do the same is Saint a cool picture I was really stoked to see that um, and it's signed by Richard Z I think that's this guy's name Richard Richard or Richard or Robert I can't remember I'm in, I'm in my the middle of my third shift of 12 hours so I do another four hours tonight already yet so I'm kind of sleepy still which I think is really cool I was really stoked to see this so, and I, again, I'm going to do the same thing because, again, this one's well-traveled as well. So that's that portion. And I'm going to fly through these. So uh, as to, I have to go pick up my kids. Now, the rest is the, the stuff that I was talking about. So we got a, a mass, mass button, Aerosmith button, Veil of Deception button. Now, Scott and I, we collect buttons. Um, I had used to have all the square buttons when I was a kid. I don't know what the heck happened to them. They're all gone. No Life to Metal fist pump button. It's metal studs. No Life to the Metal card, which I thought was pretty cool. Um, we'll get to that in a second. Now, these are the buttons that I'm talking about. The square ones. It's a Holy Soldier one, which is really cool. Deliverance one, which is Weapons of Our Warfare, which is tray cool. My two favorite ones out of the bunch right here. Ultimatum. That is a, such a cool button. I'm thinking of buying a, a denim vest to cut the sleeves off and making a battle jacket. I'm going to put some of this stuff on there. And Believer, Extraction from Mortality. Now that's freaking awesome. Uh, oh, they got locked. Oh, there we go. Fear Not. I got two of those. Fear Not. Sacred Warrior. That's cool. These buttons are really well put together, really nicely done. Uh, Heathen's Rage. Great band. Scott's got um, an album coming out with a book that is on, it's high, high, high on my want list. So as soon as that comes available, I'll be grabbing that. And we're heading to Florida, like I said. And when I come back, hopefully I got some money left over. That uh, I put money aside, but hopefully I got a little bit left over that I'll be buying um, a bunch of stuff. Blood Good, which is a really cool, uh, that's a cool button. That, if I remember correctly, is the cover of the first album, the first Blood Good record. Another Mass button, which is really cool. This is cool too, I like the logo. Biogenesis, is that too? Yeah, sorry if I'm running through this video fast. I have to pick my kids up in five minutes now. And the video has already been 19 minutes, 51 seconds. Helix. Bastard of the Blues. 
the other fear not. And NOG, no other God button. So yeah, so that is my no life. Oh yes, and this. If any musician out there, anybody knows what this is, I do. I already know what it is. Comment below. I'm not going to tell you what it is. See if you know what it is. Comment below. And of course, it's autographed by Scott. All right. That's cool. That's actually a piece of working memorabilia. I'm not going to tell you what it is. You guys tell me if you know. Anyways, that's my vid. That's my talk for 21 minutes. You guys have a great day. God bless. And I'll see you next video. Cheers.